Hey y'all, it's your girl Empress Cheryl. So we're about to do a Thirsty Thursday reading to see who is thirsting on you, okay? Who is thirsting on the collective? So let's get into it. Hopefully we get some insightful information, okay? What does spirit want us to know, okay? Who is sending thirst traps? Who is desiring you? Things like that, okay? So I'm gonna ask my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit to come and protect us during this reading. Give us clear and accurate insight. Now, who is thirsting on you? All right. I'm going to start with this Moonology deck. Who is thirsting on the collective? Who is thirsting on the individuals who come across this video? A lot of people, y'all. Let's. I put it back in. It's a lot of people. It was a lot that fell, okay? <laughs> so look, take these messages as they resonate for you because I feel like it's going to be a lot. And then also, for some reason, I felt the urge to like clean, um, do a cleanse on like five different decks. So it's definitely a lot. And I guess I'll be using all five. Maybe. We'll see how it goes, okay? Who is thirsting on the collective? We have full moon and Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, this person could be a Capricorn. This person could be um, someone who has just come to come to the end of a cycle. Maybe a karmic cycle, maybe a tough cycle. Um, you know, maybe they're just coming to the end. Some type of cycle in their life, period. Okay, we have new moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Um, this person could be a Leo or this person could be someone that is, um, stepping into their confidence. Okay. Um, maybe coming out of, if we're putting them together, you know, maybe coming out of, um, a cycle and about to step into their confidence, something like that, or I don't know, maybe someone who portrays as a confident individual could be someone that's just a successful individual. Okay. We have balsamic moon, a time for healing. Maybe someone who, um, has took, has taken some time for healing. Maybe someone who is a healer is in the healing profession, something like that. Maybe someone who is, um, resting or has been on a healing journey. We have new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Um, this person could be a Libra. This person could be someone who um, is a new interest, who wants to be a new love interest, who wants to start up a new cycle with you. Um, maybe someone who wants to um, balance the scales with you. I always get that when I see these scales. Um, yeah, maybe someone who wants to balance things out with you. Uh, we have take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Maybe it's someone who practices breath work. Maybe that's their thing. Maybe it's just someone who's just been chilling, Is who is into chilling, into relaxing, into breathing easily. Uh, we have full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming, okay? This person could be a Gemini. This could be someone who is coming to you. Maybe someone's on the way to you to talk to you. Maybe someone who is um, wanting to let you know. Maybe they know that you're wondering if they're thirsting over you. Maybe they're coming to give you answers, okay? We're going to get a different deck. So let's see. Who is thirsting over the collective? So the signs that came out so far was Capricorn, Leo, Libra, and Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Who is thirsting over the collective? We have creation. Maybe someone who is a creator. Someone who is an who is a creative individual. Um, this card though, I also get um like maybe someone who is a powerful manifester or someone who is like really connected to source, really connected to their um ancestors, someone who knows how to bring things into creation. It's pretty much like the mindset that I'm getting from that. Like they know how to 
call in what they want. This person could be indigenous or have some type of indigenous background as well. What else? We have acceptance. Again, we have this cherry card here. Um, maybe someone who is in the process of accepting themselves. Um, someone who is, again, I'm just getting um, ancestral help or help with um, like from their spirit guides or something. Like this is someone, okay, so you know, another thought that I just got is maybe someone who is like trying to accept their true self or trying to accept like what path they're on or something like that like maybe they're pausing to figure out who they are um we have this balance card again again with these scales okay so this could be a libra or this could be someone who wants to balance the scales um with you i always so with these angry faces maybe it's someone maybe y'all had some type of um I'm just kidding. Maybe y'all had some type of, maybe y'all had some type of like disagreement or dis, I don't know, whatever. Y'all wasn't on, <laughs> y'all probably wasn't on the same page. Um, and it's like, maybe just trying to come and work things out. Um, that's who starts to know you. Okay. So then we have abundance maybe someone who promotes abundance maybe someone who's all about abundance maybe someone who you know what i'm saying knows how to spend money how to seek abundance how to you know what i'm saying like the best way to or maybe someone who's just focused on their abundance right now we have gossip maybe someone who um talks about you often maybe someone who um hears other people talking about you sees other people talking about you thinks other people wants you likes you it's okay so listen there the energy that i'm i'm getting here from these other cars is like this person could be it, this could be some, this person could be, um, for some of you, like, is someone who is not, maybe they're not pleased with how things are going, like, in your connection or with, with you. This, uh, this feels like a person who you've known, like, for, you know, for this energy right here. Feels like someone who you may have known already or you may have been in connection with before already. And I'm just getting a sense of it's not like this is like a no contact situation where they want to come back in contact with you. Like they want to balance things out with you. They want to smooth things out with you. But I don't get the sense that they know how to or they still are debating it or something like that. But some people are mad. It's too many angry faces on these cars. Why are angry faces coming up about somebody thirsting over you? This is weird. <laughs> All right, who's upset? Maybe people are upset about the fact that this person is thirsting over you, okay? Or maybe they upset that they thirsting over you. Maybe they don't want to want you. I don't know. All right, who is thirsting over the collective? Enjoy music, instrumental, sound, tone. This is someone who is into music. Maybe someone who makes music um produces music plays music sings music plays an instrument something like that but um this individual enjoys music okay who is thirsting over the collective Go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. Okay, so with this, I'm getting, this is someone that either you have manifested or that they have manifested or whatever, but it's just kind of like, I'm getting the sense of things just flowing. So maybe, maybe they just flowed into your life. Maybe you just going with the flow is what is bringing this person into your life or something like that. It's kind of um what i'm getting or so yeah maybe you just going with the flow or maybe this is someone who goes with the flow 
something like that. But someone who manifests, someone who like it, it relaxes, it's easy going. Okay, we have have courage, strength, fearlessness, warrior. Okay, this could be someone who is a warrior. Okay, someone who has courage, someone who is you know strong, has strength. You know what I'm saying? Has confidence with this with this other card said something about confidence. Confidence is your key to success. Okay, we have take time out, siesta, recharge, rest. We got this rest word again. Okay, this person is really big on rest. Okay, um, <laughs> getting your rest. All right. Um, we also have a pool here, uh, relaxation spa. Okay, so this is someone who like either wants you to get your rest or this someone who's just really big on um promoting rest, promoting taking the time out and relaxing. We have get into nature, coexistence, gather, limit waste. Again, this card keeps coming out. I wonder if this person is going to approach you, okay? Um, but yeah, maybe somebody who is just all about nature, natural resources, you know what I'm saying? Caring for the planet, okay? Um, planet Earth, Mother Earth, you know, not wasting anything let's see let's get another deck who is thirsting on the collective who is thirsting on the collective y'all take these messages as they resonate for you who is thirsting on the collective we have cardi b with personality i'm getting somebody who has a um good personality maybe an outgoing personality so maybe someone who likes to laugh and joke be a center of attention or something like that um we have nikki d with order maybe someone who is real organized maybe someone who you know likes to have things um in order likes to put things in their proper order something like that tiara whack with humor Again, like this could be like a comedian or someone who is like funny or jokester, you know, something like that. Um, Rhapsody with truth, maybe someone who speaks truth, maybe someone who just seeks, speaks, seeks truth, <laughs> goes after truth, you know what I'm saying? Tries to find knowledge. Um, we have Rihanna with dominance, okay? Maybe someone who is dominant, maybe someone who wants to dominate you, maybe someone who wants to um be in control has control has power could be what that is let's get another one from this deck okay who is thirsting over this collective who is thirsting over the collective maybe they're into whips whips and chains <laughs> we have mia x with strength here okay could be an ex, could be someone who's down with the, you know, no limit crew, you know, New Orleans um, era. But again, okay, this strength card came out, you know, or the word strength came out again. So I'm getting somebody who, I'm getting strong, but maybe it is like strong, um, could be strong mentally, could be strong physically, could be someone, you know, who works out often, but I'm just getting someone who, um, is oh no okay so i just got stubborn so it could be someone who is just um stubborn as well okay but yeah strong take it how y'all want to take it someone who has strength let's see from these this last deck okay who is thirsting on the collective who is thirsting on the collective smile maybe someone who smiles often maybe someone who likes to smile maybe someone who makes you smile okay who is thirsting on the collective also with a smile i'm getting like probably the person who you want to be thirsting over you <laughs> so smile about it 888 prosperity path to abundance okay so maybe somebody who is like on their path to abundance maybe someone who you know if the 888 numbers mean something to you then take that 
Maybe their birthday is in August. Maybe not. Maybe they're just a prosperous person, okay? Um, decisions are being made. Judgment. Maybe someone who is trying to make a decision on you, trying to make a final decision, making a final call, trying to see what what they want to do. Do they want you? That's who thirsted on you, okay? It's time for you to create more sacral chakra products, artwork, songs, etc. Okay, this is, again, this creative energy, okay? So, someone who creates, all right? Someone who maybe is in their sacral chakra energy, which is all about, you know, creation, which is all about, you know, fertility, producing sexual energy, creative energy, whatever, um... It means for you okay but someone who creates products maybe someone who creates artwork maybe someone who creates songs let's get one more let's get one more card for you who two more go play in water beach pool spiritual bath rain shower this again like another one of these cards was talking about a pool this is somebody who swims Okay, this could be a swimmer. This could just be someone who likes to go to the beach. Could be just be someone who likes to play in the water. Could just be a water sign, okay? We have play in dirt, root chakra, grounding, gardening. This could be someone who is into gardening. Maybe someone who, you know, likes to play in dirt, likes to, you know what I'm saying, do the work again with the earth, mother nature, okay? So that's who's thirsting on y'all, all right? Take care.